are getting sleepy, you will watch all films more fun videos. Sleepy. What's up guys? Today I want to do a video on ring dings. Anybody ever eat those as a kid? Used to come in like packs of two, little white cardboard on the bottom. I think Drake Cakes made them, right? That's a brand. Wrapped in plastic. Get a big old thing of milk. That's 10 minutes of your day, pfft, gone, right? Now these are actually multi-image filters. And this one's a five. This guy's three. Basically what, what it does, as the, the title would suggest, it splits the image that you see through the lens into multiple images. And, you know, this would be a three, this would be a five. And they come in all sorts of flavors. I've seen them, you know, come up to nine, maybe even 13. And what basically it just kind of give you an idea here. Okay, kind of splits, that's the three. That's the five, and you got a center centerpiece in the five. And you screw this into your filter thread, and then it gives you a little handy-dandy arm that you can kind of move and spin like this, and which is awesome because you don't have to do the the whole you know gaming controller thing with your with your camera. So that's definitely a, a nice feature. Now I've seen these things around, and uh, until seeing somebody post some images from this, I've got a friend out in France who posted a, a few images up to Instagram, and I thought you know that looks pretty cool, and and he had used one. I thought. Maybe it's worth checking out. So I, I went out and I, I checked eBay and kind of stalked eBay for a little bit. And because these they're still available new. I mean, you can get them on Amazon or B and H for you know anywhere from twenty five to to thirty five, even you know higher. And for me, I can't see paying that much money for these. You know, used is definitely a better option because it's these are more for me at least like a, a novelty item. They'll get pulled out and, and used every now and then. So I couldn't see spending like 40 bucks on these things. So anyway, I paid 15 bucks for the set, you know, shipped. So that's $15 to my door. I got two of these and, you know, Tiffin's a reputable brand. So, you know, some of these other ones I've seen on Amazon are like an off brand. So I, I don't know, you know, what the, what the quality would be. So I, I kind of trust Tiffin, you know, the, the glass in Tiffin is, is pretty good. So to give an example of just what these things can do, uh, I, went ahead, I shot a roll of HP5, and I did like a sequence of images with no filter, the three, and then the five. Uh, just so you can kind of see, okay, you know, how, how is it going to look when you use these? And, you know, keep in mind that the composition can move. You know what I mean? With, with these little arm things, you can kind of recompose, you know, however you want. So what you see is, is not exactly what you get. You know, you still have so many other options. I'll go ahead, I'll start to show those images now, just so we can see exactly what you can expect when you shoot these. I think this macro flower shot gives a really good example of basically the separation. And the top image, obviously, is the no filter. And then on the bottom left, you have your three. And then on the bottom right, you have your five. And, you know, looking at this, if you have like a, a, a single subject in the center that has high contrast, you can kind of expect a good separation. And uh, you'll notice when we, we go to the next images, that's not always the case. So the second set of images is of my kitchen clock. And the top one, same arrangement, the top one is unfiltered. Your bottom left is the three, your bottom right is the five. And it's a little bit harder to tell on this one because uh, you know, with the clock, you have a whole bunch of shapes and angles and things kind of go everywhere. And then with either of these filters, it just, it, it blows it up. I mean, it's like everywhere. And it, it really reminds me of something that I would shoot with a multiple exposure. And, you know, this is one, one click of the shutter on either of these three or five filters, and that's what you get. And something else that, that I think is worth pointing out, too, is the contrast. You know, I didn't mess with the contrast at all in any of these pictures. And you can see that there's a pretty stark difference between the original image and then either the three or the five filter. And what's not to say that you can use these with people too. I mean, it, as you can see, it can give you some crazy, crazy portraits, right? Not something that I would use all the time, but it, it does give you a really wild effect. 
hey, and while you're knocking out some portraits, you know, why not go for that 1980s uh, kind of faded overlay look, right? Remember that cheesy look that, that was going on? People would take themselves and then have a, a dark background and then overlay their pets. You know, you'd have like, uh, you'd have Spot or Fido kind of overlay on yourself with the dark background. You know, we could bring that back using this filter. It could, it could be all the rage again. So that pretty much wraps it up, guys. I'm curious to see, you know, are these something, if you haven't shot with them, are these something that, that would you shoot with them? Or are they too kind of gimmicky? You know, I know that I, I probably would not use these in a professional setting, but, uh, you know, for fun, why not, right? I mean, 15 bucks for a pair of these things, it, it can give you some really crazy effects, and it's, it's just a lot of fun, especially if I do a lot of film swaps. Uh, and by the way, if you ever want to film swap, just, you know, get a hold of me and I'm, I'm usually down to, to swap some roles. But, you know, it's really cool, I think, to to do, you know, effects and, and whatnot. These would be great for film swaps or multiple exposures and, uh, you know, the, the layering because you're already layering. So, you know, these, I think, are, are going to come in handy uh, in the future for some of those roles. Or maybe do you have them? You know, is, is this something you already use? And uh, if so, what what's your preferred number? I got to say, between the two of these, I, I really like the three because I think you can you can more you can better control your composition. And the five, while it's cool, it's just it's too much for me. It's kind of it's too cluttered. I can only imagine what what the nine and the thirteen versions would do. I mean, it's just pandemonium like everywhere. And if uh, you guys enjoyed the video, if you could do me a favor and please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, uh, go ahead and click the subscribe. And every couple days I'm coming out with new content. Some are videos like this. They're just general photography videos. Others are how-tos on certain cameras. Others are overviews or reviews, stuff like that. Everything's pretty much film photography related. So if that's your cup of tea, go ahead and, and click subscribe. And you'll get notified every time we release something. So until next time, we'll see you.